Hi, um, my name is Taya Manning and I have been a full-time intern at the Barbados Museum and Historical Society since last summer. Um, I was originally contracted to be a documentation and um, research intern and now I'm here as the assistant registrar on the Collections Move project. I would definitely say that my internship experience here has been not only all-encompassing but also extremely fulfilling just because I originally came on to work on the Robert McLeod exhibit and I was supposed to have left in January but I was able to stay and work on the Collections Move project which gave me a lot more insight to the internal structures and mechanisms of a museum so I definitely can say that leaving I definitely understand um, a lot more about how museums operate and all the different working systems that have to um, coexist simultaneously in order for a museum to stay afloat. This publication was the highlight of my internship in physical form because as a research intern I got to work as a primary researcher and writer on this publication. So my name was actually published in it and about half of the research that went into this was mine, um, more so geared towards the thematic breakdown of what um, Robert McLeod's um, legacy and what his artwork encompassed as a landscape artist. Um, I would definitely say that from this publication I learned that landscape artists do not just document the physical realities in which they live but also the, the social realities in which they live and the evolution of society as time goes on. I won't get into all of the themes that I um, talked about in this catalogue because it's actually available for sale at the, um, at the Barbados Museum shop. It is $60 Barbados dollars. So if anybody's interested in reading about Robert McClough's life and also about what his art encompassed, you can just come down and buy one. Another um, highlight of my internship would have definitely been um, the opportunity to start working on my own independent research under the museum. Um, I'm currently working on a research project that is about the Jewish art history of Barbados, which is not only aimed at redefining what it is to be Caribbean and what Caribbean identity um, involves, um, but it's also something that captures the richness of Barbadian history because that, that is almost like an unseen reality or an un, unspoken truth. Um, the movement of both the Sephardic and Ashkenazi Jews is, is a part of our history that's not spoken about a lot and as a Jew and as a Barbadian and an artist, the, the Jewish art history of Barbados is something that's just very personal to me so that would also be another highlight of my internship but that's an ongoing process. I'm still going to be working on that after I leave being physically at the museum. So. The most fundamental takeaways that I can say I, um, I learned or I internalized from this internship is working alongside minds and peers and treating everybody with equity irrespective of their position in relation to mine. So I may be subordinate to some people here, I may have a lot to learn, but that doesn't mean that other people can't learn from me or that I'm not to learn from, you know, people that are now coming into the museum. Everybody has things to learn from other people and in a, in a wide working system where everyone is working as a team, you have to work cohesively with everybody and harmoniously and I definitely learned how to do that here. But in addition, I, I started thinking a lot about um, sustainability because, you know, the museum is affiliated with UNESCO. I started thinking a lot about the sustainable development goals, a lot about resilience, a lot about what non-governmental organizations need to do in order to stay afloat in the, in the imagined future. And I would definitely say that from this internship, my mind is definitely thinking in a more sustainable um, way. So since January of this year, I have been a full-time student at the City College of New York. I am an art history and Jewish studies double major with a minor in international relations. So what's really nice for me is going to New York. I'm gonna be um, finishing this internship on July 30th and I will be in New York from the 1st of August. 
where I will continue my studies. But I also plan to do other internships and carry my knowledge from this one into them. Um, I have my eyes on the Met, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, among other museums. Um, but I had it in one application already. I'm not sure how that's going to go, but that's what's next. Studying and continuing to work and study and cultivate the ability to do both at the same time because that is very important.